It's vital for us humans to breathe. We breathe approximately 11,000 litres of air per day. If this air is contaminated with air pollutants, this pollution can travel deep into our lungs, into our bloodstream and onto our heart, which increases the risk of respiratory and cardiovascular diseases. We spend most of our time indoors and in our home, so a poorly ventilated space can lead to long-term exposure to many indoor air pollutants. This can lead to short-term and long-term health effects. It's believed that exposure to indoor air pollutants contributes to the development of asthma and allergy. Ireland has one of the highest rates of asthma prevalence in the world. Did you know that cooking creates pollutants that can affect our respiratory health? That's why it's so important our homes have good air quality through proper ventilation. Proper ventilation removes or cleans polluted air and brings fresh, clean air into our homes, helping to remove pollutants such as chemicals, moistures, viruses, and odors that are sometimes present indoors. Good ventilation has been shown to reduce the risk of airborne transmission of viruses like the SARS-CoV-2 virus, the virus responsible for COVID-19. There are two types of ventilation systems in houses, natural and mechanical. Natural ventilation is fresh airflow, which occurs through openable windows, trickle ventilators on windows, vents on walls, roof lights, and other openings. Mechanical ventilation systems incorporate fans and control systems to produce ventilation. These systems extract bad air from the kitchen and wet rooms and supply good air in living rooms and bedrooms. If you've bought or built a new home, rent a home or carried out major renovations to it, you should know some simple things about ventilation. Firstly, your new home should come with the following documents. A building energy rating certificate, a BER cert, an air tightness test certificate confirming that the new home is built airtight, which informs the ventilation plan for the dwelling. Your ventilation system's user guide or other information about using and maintaining your ventilation system correctly. These instructions should explain how the system works, why the system should not be turned off, how the control should be used, and how and when the system should be cleaned and maintained. A ventilation validation certificate confirming that the ventilation system works well and your home is ventilated correctly. Secondly, if you are renting, when you move in, your landlord or their agent should give you information about how to use and look after the ventilation system that's been installed. By law, your landlord must make sure your home has a ventilation system that works. Thirdly, the control indicators of the ventilation systems should be in a visible location and not in a remote area such as the attic space. Control indicators should indicate to you that the system is operating correctly and if a fault has occurred. Finally, there are a few things to remember around the house. Do not turn off mechanical ventilation systems. Beware of signs that your home isn't ventilated correctly. For example, mold growth, condensation, lingering odors. Clean your home regularly to remove dust, mites, and animal hair or fur. Regularly air rooms. Ensure that wall vents and window trickle vents are kept open and not blocked. Keep your house ventilated. We can only breathe cleanly when our homes breathe properly.